Good morning. Now, I've been asked several times how I go about getting a permission woodland such as this one. Completely private, but I'm allowed to be here. And there is lots of different ways to go about doing this. But my personal method seems to work okay. Well, at least it works for me. So I thought, well, I'll share it with you. It's no great secret. Now, how I start off is looking at the OS mapping locally, trying to identify a place that, you know, looks like it has potential. I thought someone was in the woods then watching me. <laughs> Sorry, carry on. Yeah, looking at the OS mapping and something that looks potentially good, I'll also have a look on Google Earth, have a look at, uh, you know, surrounding houses, farms, that sort of thing. Obviously, in an ideal world, you don't want anyone too close. That's where I start. Now, I don't go straight to getting permission. I will go to the site first and check it out to see if it's worth it. Because it can be a long and a bit of a hassle sometimes route getting the whole permission. So I'll go there first a few times just to see whether it's worth it, whether I like it, just get the feel of the place. And if it looks promising, I'll then go to the next stage of actually getting permission. Now one thing I have found is one of the best sources of information is local farmers because it's often difficult to sort of track down who owns a particular piece of woodland it's not always obvious you know they get sold off and things like that but if anyone will know the local farmer will know if it's not his he will know whose it is so i'll go to the nearest farm and ask there now the other thing to take into consideration is if you just rock up to someone's front door unannounced, dressed in full camo and say, oi mate, I want to camp in your woods, I would hazard a bet that, yeah, they're going to say no. So my personal approach is I go dressed sensibly, you know, sort of thing you'd wear if you're out for a day's walking, hiking type thing. And one of the important, in my case, props that I use is this camera. And I have this camera around my neck. And that is to back up the other main tool in my armament, which, hang on, let's fish in the pocket. Business cards. Now, nowadays, they're dead easy to do online. Um, I can't remember which company I use, but it was just one of the you know, online card producing people. It took me 15 minutes to design my own card with what I wanted, place the order, and I think it was about 5 99 for 50 cards delivered. Simple, cheap, the price well worth paying if it means you getting in somewhere. And my cards actually state that I am a photographer and filmmaker, which, well, isn't that far from the truth, really. It's not my full time job, obviously, but I do take a lot of photos and I do make videos, short films. And the only information on the cards is the business name is the same name as my YouTube channel, but I do have my normal name on there as well, and my mobile phone number, and my email. 
so the people have a point of contact if they want to get hold of me. Because sometimes people, you know, they're not too sure when you first approach them. You can just leave them a card and they've got the option then of getting back to you or not. Uh, some people say, okay, straight away, still give them a card. They know who I am, they've got a point of contact. If they see something in the woodland that they don't like and think it might be me, they can always give me a call and I can always talk to them about it. It's the building of trust and friendship which is the hardest part. I do the photography angle to make the initial contact and to get access to the place. I will come in to somewhere like this on several occasions over a few months and if all goes well I will approach the farmer, landowner, whatever, again at a later date and say I'm looking to do some I don't know, dawn dusk photography. Would it be an issue if I stayed in there overnight because it would be easier? And normally they say yes that's fine because you've already built up that relationship, that friendship and a bit of trust. So that is how I go about it. I'm not sure how others do it, but that's my angle, shall we say. And it seems to work for me. I hope you find that useful. Give it a go. You never know.